you ready to go? Sean Caleb's CNN, New Orleans. Stacy in the 407. What's up, Stacy? What do you got, sweetie? It's a hideout. Hey, uh, I was listening to oh. <laughs> What the hell? I thought it was a chick. You gotta warn me. You gotta tell me. I, I take that sweetie thing back, Daisy dude. He's not Tom let's, Sorrell. Let's change your name to Carl. All right, Carl, what do you got? Man, you don't gotta lie to me to be friends. Look. Have you ever seen Jeepers Creepers? No. Where that car just starts coming up behind you and was like bumping the uh, the mm. rear bumper trying to get you to move over. That was this son of a bitch yeah. right here who spun out three times. Let me say this too. Okay. About the real race, just real fast. It was a great time. I couldn't tell whether or not it was exciting because I was trying to stay away. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the way they had everything filtered in the car was appropriate because I almost passed out about seven times from what I believe was carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> I'm driving, dude, and I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm that, having a, I'm sleepy. That's and half I'm, the fun of it. I going, looked forward to that part. And I'm going 50 miles an hour, you know, in a circle, and I'm thinking to myself, why can't I stay awake? Man, I'm nauseous. What's going on here? I almost tapped. Thank God the race ended. I think I almost uh, would have died. Wild Bill. We went the 404 laps. No, no, you. No, you didn't. Chunks and I did. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Let's go to Bobby Hill in the 420. What's Yo, up, Bobby? Man. Hey, guys. I'm watching you guys on Real Radio TV, and I swear to God, Wild Bill has the creepiest stoner slash thousand yard stare eyes. It looks like he just got done smoking a blunt in Vietnam. All right, see, that's the thing. I keep getting that about Wild Bill on Real TV. It's the camera and the lighting. Thank you. On Real Radio. Amen. He just stares at it, though. Yeah, that's that's yeah, the other because thing. I've never seen anything like it. It's a little camera on a little tripod. Steve, <laughs> <Hey>, man, <laughs> your will confuses me. <laughs> Bye, poor Steve. Over in full blown AIDS. What's up? Dot com. Hey, buddy. Wobble has black eyes, lifeless eyes. Like a doll's eyes. Yeah, exactly. I've never seen a salesman go down and uh, stay up after uh, eight barrels. Cut him open. <laughs> All right, That's Wild good. Bill. That's good. I'm killing that girl. I don't remember that. I remember Minority Report, but I don't remember anybody from it. Right, I'm getting this one on the Instant Messenger. Sea Lane. Everyone hates him. <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah, and he just flicked off real TV on real radio. That FM is he still wearing his real radio or his radio uh, terrorist turban? What do you got, radio terrorist? Colin Farrell played a pretty good bad guy in Minority Report. You kind of hated him. I don't remember him being in that. He was the he was the detective that was um, wanted to prove that uh, there was a hole in the system. Radio Jihad. <laughs> I thought that was Tom Cruise. No, Tom Cruise was the cop. Shut up. Thought you remembered my order report. You know who was a good guy to always play a, a prick? Uh, to have your job. I would kill the sister. Exactly. Where, where? Yeah, well, come on. We, all right, then kill. I'm sorry if Shut I was up. busy all day. <laughs> I hate jokes. you, dude. Go sit in the corner. <laughs> Go get away from a mic, sit in the corner, and point the camera at him. I, Jesus Christ, you gelatinous bastard. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Then kill. What does that mean, <laughs> C Lane? What does that mean? No, get the liar. She owns your life. I hate you. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Roxy. What were you gonna say? Just talking about stories. Now, Fat Ed intern, the great Gazoo Manning, mm. told his story, which sucked, <laughs> until I heard the details of it. I'm like, well, that was actually not. Yeah. All right. So when you're in the third grade, a kid touches an electric wire. He gets shocked. Now, what happens to him as soon as he gets shot? Okay, his whole body went white, lips went white, the whole body. Mm -hmm. And then after that, like I'd say, like a minute or two after that, like just blood came, started coming out of his eyes. So blood literally pouring out of his eyes yeah. at that point. And that, Jesus. And after the blood came out, that was it. He just fell over and and it was done and with. It was just done with. All right. I mean, it creeped me out then, but now it's just funny, I guess. <laughs> How's it funny? I mean, I mean, it, it, I mean, it, it, it was, it was you, you know, it was tragic and you know, Dubs everything. kills but... over now and he dies. It's tragic now, but what years later you're gonna laugh about it? Well, if the way I he would, died, I was, I would. I, I, you know, <laughs> I understand. Now this one's kind of timely we because turn the camera thing. around to chunks and put it on chunks. No chunks. Grab the bag. Grab that bag. Open it up. And, and pull out the contents. 
There's a, uh, I guess you would call a like treat. A, there's a baggy, I guess you would call it, Dubs, mm-hmm. and inside that a Ziploc bag. Yeah, there's a uh, just a regular bag you get from like a Seven Eleven or something, mm-hmm. and then there's a Ziploc bag with the contents of what I brought in tonight. All right. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna send chunks out. Well, and he's gonna see. try to sell. Opening the bag and judging by the smell of it, uh, let me just take a gander in here, and yes, I was right. It's a Mister Hanky. <laughs> All right, pull out Mr. Oh, Hanky. Oh, Christ, dude, what's wrong with you? Dude, pull it out. <laughs> Baby needs a diaper change, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's all I could get. The smell got my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're, we're going to have a little contest. <laughs> we're going to see. Now, hair, hair chick Ralph. Grab the bag and show it to the, uh, show it to the uh, camera. Chunks, grab the bag. Oh. Heretic Ralph brought in uh, some food for us tonight, mm-hmm. and he looks completely disgusted like he's going to throw up. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have half-eaten food. So I'm going to mm-hmm. take a bite out of this wing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm very tasty. So in ho- honor of Surrey Cruz and her uh, bronze deuce that they were selling last week. Hey, not white. Mm. Yeah, go to a doctor, dude. There's something wrong with you. Why? You'd be lucky it like wasn't that. mine. Look at it. There's nothing wrong with it. Like a little cat, you know. No. Yeah. Is that your dad's fingernail in there? <laughs> <laughs> Firm grip. <laughs> All right, here's my half-eaten food. Oh, great. Now go out. Now what we're going to do, we're going to send you out, Chunks, when you go out on this uh, Tune It Tuesday to uh, a store and turn on all the radios to Real Radio 104.1 in the hideout. After you get done doing that and calling us, you're going to walk outside of that establishment and see what you can get for both of those. We're yeah. going to try to make a little money, because I can't believe people are making money off of the bronze edition of Surrey Cruz's waste. Yes. Yeah. And now, you know, Britney Spears, more than $500 for the half-eaten food. I, now, see, I have no bronze. Mine's all natural. I want to see who's, who would garner more. Mm-hmm. I honestly believe my half-eaten food would get more money than your no. Uh, no. waste. No. I, yes! I, there's no way. <laughs> there's no. certainly a chance. I hate to tell you, man, but you know, it's, you know, you grab that bag and sh- show both of them onto the screen right now. Which one would you pay more for? <laughs> Jesus. That's dude. a collector's item. You got issues, man. That's a collector's item. I don't, I, don't go to the, I don't go to the ale house every day. That's definitely collector's. There's a misprint on that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chunks, would you rather be on your car or in your car this time? <laughs> yeah, because that happened too. And we're not afraid to uh, take it back there. Joe in the uh, 863. There's no way that's a deuce in a bag. It's got to be a brownie, dude. Go out and find chunks and uh, take a gander at it. Yeah, absolutely. I guarantee. I called Dubs with the idea because we need to make a little extra money in here. We're doing nights. I guarantee. And it's not uh, it's not exactly uh, big money. All right, people are saying this. Look, at one point when we're big celebrities, that's going to make that's gonna be worth something right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pinchy says he would pay $100 for Mad Max's number two that was on Chunks' Peak Monster. That one was worth that in the weight. <laughs> that, was, that was definitely a heavy day. Got some good coverage on mm-hmm. that. So, all right, Chunks, go. Go find your establishment for the Tune It Tuesday. Go flip all the radios on there. Let us know. And then afterwards, I want you going outside and trying to sell that stuff. Talk it up, too. Yeah. Because this is a money-making you gotta endeavor. You got to sell. I want to hop on in, this, uh, in the ground floor. Because I don't want to be like one of those schmucks who got in on the dot-com thing too late. You know, Dubs? Mm-hmm. I need to try calling in sick one of these days. <laughs> it connects you to the most comprehensive research and advice on childhood cancer. And to other families who know exactly what you're going through. CureSearch.org. You're not as alone as you feel. Brought to you by CureSearch. And you're visiting you with the uh, with well, the president? Here. What are you going to say to the president while you're here? That's correct. We're going to go and uh, have some uh, Kung Pao. You're better. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> well, the film's cloud, weekday three. On Real Radio 104.1. Tired of the government eavesdropping on your phone calls? Sign up for the national Do Not Spy On Me list. Just go to I'm Not A Terrorist.com. A cooperative that helps them earn better prices for their milk. If your neighbor can't do something on his own, you go and help him with it. You know, that's certainly one of the ideas behind Scenic Central. The individuals themselves can't better their lot, but together they can. 
earning a little more for milk helps to ease the strain. But more important, these farmers have a new confidence and optimism about the future. One of them in East Los Angeles, children who once walked in fear of violence now laugh and chatter on their way home from school. The difference? The Safe Passage Program and the volunteers who guard the streets every day, protecting their children's education and their community's future. Remax.com. Now Remax.com has more home listings to choose from than ever. Remax listings and our competitors' listings too. Nobody sells more real estate than Remax. Each office independently owned and operated.